Insignibots, transform! Stage one! Insignibots, transform! Stage two! Merge into Devil Logo Awesome Nader Lazion I promise reviewer to Supremenator! Hello, you two. Greetings from the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer to my last review of what I'm calling Season 1. Anyway, let's hit shuffle again and see what we're up against. <laughs> it's MP15 Rumble and Ravage, who I'm going to call Frenzy because I'm an ignorant North American like that. And thanks to Super ST's recent trip to a swap meet, I now have the means to compare with the G1 Ravage as well. Hoorah! But we'll get to him in a bit. Let's review Frenzy first. Frenzy and Rumble are repaints of each other. If you liked Rumble from my first video, you'll like everything about Frenzy here. Unless you're the kind of person that prefers blue and hates red. In which case, maybe you won't like Frenzy here. But each to their own in my opinion. So let's transform him. Unfold the legs and rotate them back. Send the waist. Unfold the hands. Rotate arms down. And bring up the head and rotate. And again, compared to the G1, the Masterpiece Humanoid is vastly superior. Taller, more articulated, better detailing. Overall, I say you need to pick one of these tastes up at least. And if you're getting the North American version, you'll be getting all five, so problem solved. And here's Masterpiece Rumble. And yes, Frenzy, you get to come with accessories too. I know. As well, I know both of these characters use both of their items whenever, but I've always seen Frenzy as more of the gun user, and Rumble to be more of a, well, rumbler. Which, could you imagine the fights these two could have? Guns versus earthquakes! Goodness, if I had more time and own these fingers, you know I'd do something cool for them. Oh well, it can wait for when I get my own North American release. Anyway, since these are just repaints, their accessories can do the exact same thing. They both come with a clip to make their pile drivers able to tote around with them, because, you know, who could ever forget that famous episode where they did that? And Soundwave can also hold them on his forearms, because we also remember that so prevalently. For any of my former friends from Ontario, if they ever watch this video, which I highly doubt, Who's the guy who carries the gear? Gear guy! He's a gear kind of guy. Yeah. On another note, these pile drivers can stack. And then plug into Soundwave for twice the RAM boost or battery power pack or external memory or whatever you want to call its contraption. And now, on to Ravage. And compared to G1 again, a vast improvement on the original. This version looks so much, much cleaner. One thing I wish they had have done is the on the bottom. There's half silver and half black on the front legs. If they had to switch the silver and black on the front legs, the black strap in the bottom of the tape would have been moved up to make the tape more tape accurate, but I guess I'm just being nitpicky. And not really much of a comparison, but knockoff USB ravages here too. On to transformation. Lip out the nose at the bottom, bring the head together at the bottom, now on the back side, unpeg the front legs, fold together the back hips, unfold the back legs, unfold the tail, rotate the front shoulders forward, and stand them up, then pose to your liking. Now this transformation is beyond amazing. I was impressed with the laser beak mold, but this is just amazing. I'm still in disbelief that it morphs into a perfectly rectangular tape. It's a cat, for goodness sakes. And anyway, compared to the G1, it looks great. But even better when you realize G1 is just a 2D kitty. But personally, I still prefer the USB Ravage more. I don't know why, but I just do. So now we have our family of cassette cons. Soundwave with laser beak and buzzsaw. Frenzy, the locksmith. Ravage, the jaguar. And Rumble, the earth mover. Together, they stand as the Decepticons. I know, cheesy. So this has been the review for MP15, Frenzy, and Ravage. Thank you all again for being a part of my first year. It's been amazing. I strongly recommend you pick these guys up anyway. They really are wonderful in all aspects. This has been the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer signing off for the last time for quite a while.